Hi, everybody. My name is Tiana Nobile, and I'm a teaching artist and arts coach with KidSmart. And today, I'm going to show you how to make a cutout collage. All you need is colored paper, scissors, and glue. First, what's a cutout collage? A cutout collage is a kind of art where pieces of paper are cut into different shapes and positioned together to create an image. You can make a cutout collage of anything, animals, people, your house, your favorite food, objects, really whatever you want. One famous collage artist was Romare Bearden. Romare Bearden was an important artist during the Harlem Renaissance in New York. This cutout collage is called Early Carolina Morning and was made in 1978. Another important collage artist is Henri Matisse. Matisse was an artist from France and he was famous for his use of color. This cutout collage is called Jazz and was completed in 1943. When making a cutout collage, artists use different kinds of shapes. There are two categories of shapes geometric and organic shapes. Geometric shapes are shapes with clear edges, like squares, circles, triangles, and rectangles. Organic shapes have irregular edges and a flowing or curvy appearance. They are often things that you find in the natural world, like plants and animals. As you can see, Romero Bearden used a lot of geometric shapes. Look at the squares and the tiles on the floor and the rectangle in the doorway. On the other hand, Henri Matisse used a lot of organic shapes. Look at his curvy abstract lines and amoeba-like blob-like shapes. Let's look at some student examples. Here, a student created a cutout collage of an alligator. Notice how she used a ridged edge on the back to show the texture of the alligator's body. Then she combined an organic shape for the body with the geometric shape for the eye to create the whole alligator. Look at how these students use different techniques. They were each tasked with making a cutout collage of the wetlands and each came up with their own original vision. The student on the left made her collage 3D by gluing the paper to the page in a way that made it pop off. The student in the middle layered her paper to create texture and details. And the student on the right used many different colors to embellish his artwork. So here are some pointers for you to think about when making your collage. Draw with a pencil first. Then cut along your pencil lines so you know exactly what it is that you're trying to create. You can create texture through layering and fringe. You can add details by cutting holes or spaces in the middle. And don't forget to position your cutout on the page before gluing so you know how you want it to look. So go ahead, be creative, cut like artists and make a cutout collage. Let me know how it goes.